Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember to be a star. You have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is somewhat ominous. It is Trouble Loves Company. But I assure you that trouble doesn't have anything to do with the fabulous new moon that we had on Monday at 16 degrees of Aquarius. Because Aquarius rules the future. And believe me, the future is looking great. And that is because that new moon and the sun at 16 degrees of Aquarius were conjuncted by Mercury at 19 degrees of Aquarius. And those three planets were in a fixed sign. And there weren't any other planets in fixed signs. So you could be thinking about your future and everyone else could be too. And there is nothing stopping you from doing something about it right now. So that's not where the trouble is coming from. And all the things that Aquarius rules really are very favorably highlighted right now. Aquarius rules aviation, it rules space, it rules anything going through the air, so it even rules music, and it rules computers and the internet and the whole electronics field and the whole uh, telecommunication industry. And it rules rebellion, and it rules freedom and eccentricity and things ahead of their time. And above all, Aquarius rules sudden surprising change and volatility. But believe it or not, because that sign of Aquarius, which does rule the future, is so well aspected under the new moon, I would say that this is an optimum time for you to try to really think a lot more about your future than your past, because the future is beautifully highlighted. However, the trouble that is love and company right now is coming from the fact that there are five planets that are harshly, in fact, almost deadly, squaring each other among the cardinal signs. And that's why trouble loves company, because, oh boy, there's a lot going on. Mars is in Aries, the sign of new beginnings, and it's the ruler there. And it is at 23 degrees of Aries, so it has moved into a conjunction with Uranus, another malefic planet that is the ruler of Aquarius, where the new moon was. And Uranus rules sudden surprising change and volatility. And Mars rules aggression. And so <clears throat> they could uh, certainly be combining now, and their strength can be growing, but they are making a sort of a mess of some kind of situation right now because they're running up against three very good planets in Capricorn, another cardinal sign. And that is because Venus has just moved into Capricorn. It's at one degree. And it is joining Saturn, the ruler of the sign, and Pluto in Capricorn as well. And so trouble is attracting trouble and that is why trouble loves company right now. It's just not one thing that is messy. It means that something that is a sort of a messy situation somewhere in all of our lives is staying that way. It's getting worse. It, it's not clearing up at all because trouble is attracting trouble right now. And that has nothing to do with the bright prospects for your future under the new moon. It is completely because of this very harsh square among the cardinal signs. So how is it all going to end? Well, I think that it is going to end sometime in the next month. And that is because a standoff or a clash of wills, which can be going on right now somewhere, is probably going to break under the pressure that is going on as well because it's too costly to continue. And it's slowly dawning on a lot of people that it's just cost, resistance costs too much. That's because it takes too much time to do that and time is money. And you waste time, you're wasting money. It can be money that nobody has. And the reason why there's a financial consideration going on is because the harshest and most exact square among the five planets in cardinal signs is between that strong Mars at 23 degrees of Aries, which is conjuncting Uranus, 
and Pluto, which is at 22 degrees in Capricorn. And Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio. Scorpio is a fixed financial sign that rules money coming in from any other source. But when the rulers of any sign are in harsh aspect, it means that the things the sign rules are really uh, undecided or can be confusing or you can't be sure about them in any way. And that's why things are going to break up because nobody's too sure about how much something's going to cost and no one is sure about where the money's going to come from to pay for it anyway. And that's why I think things are going to end in about another month. And that is because even though that Mars and Uranus are being tried beautifully by Jupiter in Sagittarius, which rules things at a distance. So it means that the people that want to push forward and have everything their own way right now and are adamant about that do have support at a distance, okay? They have people that are encouraging them somewhere else. But remember I said it's a messy situation somewhere because there's a lot of pressure right now among people who want to have their own way and also there's, it's just getting to be too costly and no one knows where the money's going to come to pay for anything anyway. So what that means is that Mars and Uranus in Aries, even though they're squaring all the planets in Capricorn, they're moving on. They're not as slow as the planets in Capricorn. Uranus is actually a pretty slow planet, but it's at the end of, it's at the 29th degree of fate in Aries. Both Mars and Uranus are going to move into Taurus in March, and that's in another month. And then the whole story changes. The picture really gets a lot better because then they will be trining Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. And that's when a building year begins. That's when practical matters take precedence. That's when people settle down and they just realize they have to work hard pretty much within their budget in order to go ahead and be careful about the money. And so that can reinforce the idea that the new moon on Monday represents that the future is looking pretty darn good right now. The things that are particularly highlighted are good communication and also easy transitional change that doesn't take too much effort and doesn't cost too much money but can make you happier. And that's because Mercury, which is conjuncting the sun and moon, are trining, is trining uh, Gemini and that's what Gemini rules. But the three planets in Aquarius were also trining the sign of Libra. And that means the future holds good prospects for potential new partnerships and also for some sort of legal alliance that could be coming up. So you have all of that to look forward to. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, this is a time when you got to cool it a little bit, Aries. And the reason why is you could be on a real tear right now. But remember, trouble loves company, and it's being caused by Mars and Uranus in your sign, which are really being uh, staunchly and harshly squared by Venus now and Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. When Mars and Venus square or oppose each other, it means men and women are not getting along. So you've got to be a little bit more tactful right now because even if you're looking for a fight, unfortunately there are some other people that are looking for that too. And that's why trouble loves company. And so I really strongly advise you to draw on the support you can have at a distance. Remember Jupiter and Sagittarius is trining your sun. That means if you were doing something that involves the things that Sagittarius rules, you could probably be successful, such as making travel plans or taking a course in higher education or really trying to stay within the parameters of the law uh, because uh, Sagittarius rules the court. So you can su succeed that way, but if you if you want to just keep having everything your own way, sooner or later you're going to break under the pressure of that. And that is because nobody has an idea of how much something's going to cost or where the money's going to come from, including you. And so sooner or later people have got to quit resisting and start cooperating instead. So I would really cool things right now, Aries, because you don't want to overstep either. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, Things are about to change, and they will in another month, because you're going to have some pretty strong planets in your sign. And that's because Uranus will come into your sign in March, 
and it will stay there for seven years and for the next year and a half it will be trining Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and Mars will leave Aries and come into Taurus as well your sign that will sort of stir you up but the slow planets Saturn and Pluto are trining the planets that are coming into your sign so trouble may love company right now and you may have your hands full in the background of your life Taurus because that's you know Mars and um, Uranus and Aries are right behind your sun sign so something in the background of your life is not going smoothly right now but if you could wait that out the tide will turn and things will change and remember there's a big question about where the money's going to come from or how much something's going to cost right now nobody is too sure of the financing right now and yours is a financial sign that's why I suggest you almost do nothing right now but, but stay the course and in other words with Venus your own ruler in Capricorn right now trining your son somebody who is more powerful and more experienced really likes you Taurus and they probably are going to sort of take you under their wing and they could help you get further ahead in your career that's why that's what you need to concentrate on okay what does it mean to a Gemini well Gemini this is a wonderful time for you and that is because oh boy that new moon on Monday with the Sun the new moon and your ruler Mercury were all tightly conjuncting each other which makes them all more powerful and they were all trying in your Sun Gemini so there is a very strong possibility that you are going to get what you want if you're thinking of something that you want to do in the future or that you want to have or somebody that you want to contact I urge you to go right ahead and do it and you should let people know what's on your mind right now Gemini and the reason why is that maybe they're thinking the same thing you are in other words if you approach someone and you say oh gee you know how about we get together in some sort of potential partnership the other person could be saying well I've been wanting to do that but I didn't know you were interested in other words by good communication and by making small easy transitional changes you could be a lot happier right now Gemini and you could also pick up new partners or a legal alliance that would tend to make you happy as well and so that's why I think you're going to get what you want Ge Gemini you just have to let people know what it is okay what does it mean to a cancer well cancer this is a time when you know uh, in trouble loves company and it could be buzzing around you cancer it could be sort of parked on your doorstep right now I don't think you're causing it cancer at all but oh boy yours is a cardinal sign there are five planets in cardinal signs in a harsh somewhat deadly square right now and they're all harshly aspecting your sun sign as well because Mars and Uranus and Aries are squaring your sun sign and now Venus Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn are opposing your sun sign so somewhere in your life trouble is brewing and since you're not causing it then then it's around you it, there, you could be aware of a messy situation right now and it isn't getting any better but I think it will resolve itself in another month and that is because whatever trouble people are in or whatever angry confrontations they are um, instigating right now you know they're going to break under the pressure right now because the longer they resist the more time they waste the more money something is going to cost and nobody knows where the money is coming from or or how much something is going to cost and so you know something's going to end well when it ends it's really going to help you out cancer so you need to be as quiet as possible right now and you know bury your head in the sand because that could be pretty safe and I don't think that you can resolve an issue right now but I really urge you not to be anywhere around a messy situation avoid it at all costs because the tide will turn things will change in another month planets will come into Taurus and they'll sextile your Sun and that's a better time for you to make your wishes known okay what does it mean to a Leo well Leo 
this is a time when you can be quite popular, particularly with people at a distance because Jupiter in Sagittarius is trining your sun. And there can be other people, some with hidden agendas right now, that can be forcefully wanting to have their own way and wanting you to join them. And, you know, I think, I think this is not the time to uh, get up on your um, high horse at all, Leo. And this is not the time to overreact or be a drama uh, queen or king about anything. In fact, you should really try to stay in the background if you can. Leos don't like that. They like to be the leaders. But this might be a time when you overstep or you join the wrong group. And that could really hurt you. And that's because there are p other people around that want to push your buttons right now, Leo, and they're doing it for their good, not for yours. And that is why you need to resist or withdraw a little bit. And, and that's fine because, you know, the future for you, your future, depends on what someone else is doing with their future. And that is because the sun, the new moon, and Mercury in Aquarius were all opposing your sun sign. Well, Aquarius does rule the future, but it's somewhat, your future is somewhat in somebody else's hands right now. And I advise you to sort of just be as quiet as you can and still communicate because communication is really well aspected right now. And keep on top of what their plans are and what they're doing because once you know what they're doing, you will be able to make much better decisions about your own future. So I hope that you, um, I hope you work with somebody right now, whether you like them or not, it, it, it's pretty important they're connected to you somehow and you've got to find out what their plans are before you can make your own. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you, you could be sort of quietly satisfied with what's going on in your life. And you could have been making some effort to improve your health and you could see some progress there and that would make you happy as well. And the reason why is that Venus has now moved into Capricorn. It is joining Saturn and Pluto there and all three planets are trining your sun. And yet I said, trouble loves company. Well, the planets in Capricorn are actually under severe duress right now because Mars and um, Uranus and Aries are squaring them. And so they're in a little bit of trouble, but they're not causing you any problems. And in fact, in another month, when planets move into Taurus and also trine your sun, in addition to Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, you could be very pleased with your career progress and somebody else could be very pleased with you as well. You could also be pleased with your long-term goals and that could have something to do with retire retirement or um, promotion of some sort and you could be very pleased with opportunities to uh, further your investments. I'm not saying that all investments are paying off, but what I am saying is that you could see some good buying opportunities. So that's what you should be concentrating on, Virgo, practical reality. And in another month, that will be highlighted. So I think you're gonna be pretty busy in another month, but I think you're gonna really enjoy what you're doing too. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, you have to be <clears throat> very careful because trouble loves company. So it could come looking for you, Libra. Well, don't let it. Because you know, on Monday, the sun, new moon, and Mercury in Aquarius were all trining your sun. You have to be thinking of your future right now because you could be looking at a good potential partnership that could be coming up. You could also be looking at some sort of legal alliance that could be pretty nice for you. And that could be in your future, along with better communication and small, easy transitional changes that you can make. Just concentrate on those, Libra, because you have got to sort of slide by a messy situation, if you can, that can be quite troublesome. And that is because Mars and Uranus and Aries are opposing your sun sign. So you need to stay away from somebody who wants things all their own way and is just a little bit volcanic right now and they could erupt. Well, you need to get away from them, Libra. And then Saturn, Pluto, and Venus, your own ruler are in Capricorn squaring your sun. And that means you're gonna to have to knuckle under and do something somebody else's way. 
and that person could be in a large corporation or in a government agency. And uh, you'll have to sort of agree because I don't think you can get out of something at the moment. So you'll have to follow the rules and regulations. But at the same time, boy, you could benefit from just making some future plans right now and, uh, and going forward on them. And remember, communication is very well aspected right now, so let people know what you want. All right, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you are going to be hesitant to go forward in your future. Doesn't mean you can't be thinking about it, but actually the new moon, sun, and Mercury in Aquarius were all squaring your sun sign. So that means, in a way, your future is on hold right now. And it can be because your rulers are part of the, involved in this harsh square of five planets and cardinal signs, and they are exactly squaring each other. Mars and in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn are in a very harsh square. And that means I don't think you are too sure about how much something is going to cost in your future and where the money is going to come to pay for that. And I don't think you have the money right now to do something that you are, you've been thinking about. Or it could be that the timing is not right. You know, you might be ready to go, but nothing else is. Or messy situations do have to clear up and be resolved first before people can move on. And so this is a, a time when you just need to wait something out, Scorpio. And in the meantime, you can be thinking of your future plans and getting better organized. Uh, your sign rules discipline. So this is a time just for your own self-improvement because you can do that no matter what else is going on. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when you can be thinking of people who are at a distance, and you can also be thinking of returning to something that you've done before, or, or to a place that you had been, or to an occupation or an employer that you had been associated with, or you can be returning to something you'd always wanted to do, and maybe now you decide this is the time to do it. And that would be a good idea because the future is beautifully highlighted for everybody right now. And the new moon in Aquarius was sextiling your sun, which is good. So you can have an opportunity now to make a future change, but there are three planets right ahead of your sun sign, Venus, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. And Capricorn rules time. And so you, this could actually be the right time to do something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe it's just taking you a long time to get ready for it. But this might be the right time to sort of get things together that you have been thinking about for a long time and concentrate on them for your future. So good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when I think that you are going to be really thinking, hopefully, about what you actually love to do or, or people that you'd like to really be with. And that's because Venus has just entered your sign. But your sign is under severe duress right now, and it can be dangerous for you because Mars and Uranus and Aries are squaring the planets in your sign. And yet you do have Venus there as well as Saturn and Pluto. And I think that's going to give you a lot of strength and determination. So you do have to sort of keep your defenses up right now, Capricorn. I wouldn't make too many commitments right now, not because you're not sure of your talent or what you can deliver, but because you can't be too sure of a messy situation somewhere else, and that needs to clear up first. And so I think that you too need to just sort of wait something out right now. Believe me, it will break up because it's way too costly to always be in a standoff or have a clash of wills. Try to avoid being around people like that because in another month, planets will move into Taurus and trine your sun and you're gonna be real busy in March. Just wait for that and get ready instead. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, the new moon was in your sign. Congratulations, Aquarius. This is the best new moon that you're gonna have for years. And that is because there's absolutely nothing challenging it. And that means that you really can go ahead with something right now.
And your sign rules a lot of different things. They're generally all ahead of their time. Remember, your sign rules invention. And so if you've got a great idea that you'd like to tinker with, this is the time to do it, Aquarius. And also to communicate with a lot of people because they could get excited about what you, you're thinking of or what you want to do. So this is the time to advance, 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 Aquarius. And don't worry, I don't think you're going to be stopped by anything unless you get involved in a messy situation. So if I were you, I'd go around it. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when I think that you can be very excited about something new behind the scenes that is involving your future. And okay, I, it may not have happened yet, or it might just be in the incubator stage. And you know, it hasn't been fully developed, but it could be great because that new moon, the sun and Mercury in Aquarius were all right behind your sun sign on Monday and there was nothing stopping them. So I think you've got your mind on something for your future and it's looking pretty good Pisces it doesn't mean that it's all here believe me there's still trouble that loves company right now and in another month that'll break up so if I were you I'd keep working behind the scenes on something that you've got your mind on and it could involve something that becomes a sudden change behind the scenes and it will be one that would absolutely delight you so keep your eyes open all right Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our show, read our blog, and hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org.